Boy, it sure is disappointing when you taste a grocery store tomato after tasting fresh homegrown tomatoes. Hi, I'm Chef Jason Hill, and today we're going to learn some tips about growing tomato plants at my father-in-law's tomato garden. Every year we look forward to my father-in-law's tomatoes from his tomato garden. I use these for all types of recipes. Uh, we put sliced on uh, toasted bagels, sandwiches, they're good in salads, and they're even good right off the vine. Oh. Man, so good. Everybody has different opinions about how to grow tomatoes. What works best for you? Well, actually, uh, starting them not too early so that you have good sun and good heat. Um, in this area, probably uh, April, uh, May is good. And uh, you want to uh, rotate your location yeah. if you can. Okay, you, you, you start your tomato plants by going to the nursery and buying the small little plant. And then what's your next step as far as like any soil treatment that you need to do? Well, I work the soil uh, pretty hard, uh, getting it loose and cultivated. And then uh, add, I want to add calcium because the tomatoes need good calcium. And then uh, when I actually plant them, work in this uh, planting mix that's organic and uh, natural. So your tomatoes would be considered organic? Yes. Yeah. And they are, they're so good. <laughs> what type of organic tomatoes are you growing this year? Uh, well, this one is an orange ox heart okay. tomato. And I have a mortgage lifter tomato. Okay. And a jubilee tomato. Uh, those were the three of the best ones that I planted this year. Okay, I see you've got your garden set up on a drip system. I tried that one year and I think I, I, think I have a problem of overwatering my tomatoes. But uh, for you, how often? And how many days a week basically do you water? Well, when the plant's uh, uh, new and getting started, you want to keep it uh, watered uh, uh, every other day, weekly, just to make sure that it doesn't dry out. And then uh, later on, you just back, you back off on the water. Uh, you want to keep the water off the plant so that uh, a drip system uh, can do that for you. So you're not, you're not spraying the leaves, you're just concentrating on getting it down into the roots. Right. Okay, being that these are organic, you obviously aren't spraying these with any kind of chemical or anything like that to fight off the insects? No, I don't ever spray because there are flowers and plants that you can plant right, uh, near them that will attract away the, the uh, insects that would uh, harm the tomatoes. So kind of like a decoy thing, though, the bugs will go after the, the plant and not, yeah. the, not the tomatoes. Yes, and it is effective. Oh, cool. Okay, notice you've got the heirloom tomatoes. Uh, your personal choice, why do you like the heirloom better than the uh, hybrid? I like the naturalness uh, of them. Uh, they're more flavorful and they have, uh, they're usually soft and not grown for the uh, commercial shipping and, and uh, so they're not firm and hard like your... More of a delicate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, do you ever buy tomatoes at the grocery store? Uh, no, never do. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. Not even when I don't have tomatoes. <laughs> so you go, I go without, half the year without tomatoes. I go without and, tomatoes. And then you eat the avocados. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, like I said, we always look forward to coming down and getting your tomatoes and appreciate you sharing the tips with us and the home viewer. Enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> we will. Stay tuned for my grilled tomato recipe coming up in a couple weeks. You're going to love it. Thanks for tubing in.